Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Ravenous Devils. And this one, I'm gonna be honest with you, gonna be a darker game. Definitely along the lines of that dark humor, dark comedy. The best way I would describe this game to you would be, you're familiar with this war of mine, right? I'm sure you probably are, or you've maybe seen it on my channel many, many times. But take the game, this war of mine, and you basically slap the world of Sweeney Todd on top of it. And you have yourself ravenous devils. In this game, we're going to be controlling a couple. One of them happens to run this here, the Red Threads Boutique. Soon enough anyway, they're moving in. Down here we have the groceries, meats and fruit. The other part of our couple. And let's just say that business is good. Sometimes clients come in, but they don't come out. I barely slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. Oh, it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We've decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer hunger, or simply because it tastes so delicious, human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up, and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right, and earn as much money as we can. I mean, I did warn you, right? That said, let's get to it here. We're running out of meat fast. The people in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. Alright, let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later I'm gonna end up breaking my back. So... What's intriguing about this is that <laughs> I guess the main their main business is, um, you know, obviously the meat business. But because Percival here is a tailor, they have decided to now take the clothing off of people's backs and then turn it into suits for them to flip as well on the side, which is pretty freaking dark, to be honest with you, man. You're not letting anything go to waste. So let's grab this body here. Now we need to throw the corpse down through the trap door. Toss this um, individual down here, as you saw. Luckily, we threw that right in the pile where it had to go. Down below, that goes into the basement. Finally, fresh meat. The trap door is working brilliantly. And I like how it also started off with they apparently bought the place from some local barber. Which is, again, your Sweeney Todd reference right there. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. I mean, let me tell you this, um, this Hildred here? Kind of a unit of a woman, too. Like, literally just hosted this guy over her shoulder like nothing. You just drag this body over here, I can put it down if I want to. 
So, you know, she's got a bit of strength on her as well. Let's go ahead and dump, dump this body in there. Not just carry the body, literally throw a human being into a grinder. Takes a lot of power, let me tell you. And there he's been uh, grinded up. And we got some recipes. How about that? Well, from the meat, we can now make apparently some juicy patties and um, some meat pie, obviously. This requires the meat and flour. Luckily, we do have some flour. Matter of fact, right there. Let's grab ourselves maybe a little bit of meat first. Put that onto our setup plate. Grab some flour. And right there, you know, basically all the essentials you need for a fine meal. Let's grab this and just slap it into the oven because that's exactly how baking works. So you just grab the ingredients and put them in a plate, put them in the oven, and it instantly comes out as a pie. Well, you need to know how it works. That's exactly how it works. Try it. Go ahead and grab some flour, grab some meat, put it in the oven. It'll come out as a pie. I guarantee it. What I like about this game is that it's so easy to control because you don't necessarily have to flip between, like, you know, say, like, one and two or tap to go to characters. If the game is focusing on somebody's level, that's the character you control. So, for instance, if, you ha if you're here in the ground floor where people come into the grocery shop, you will always be controlling Helga. And if you're, say, up top, you're always controlling Percival, so you never have any sort of issue where you forget to like tab over another character, because that happened to me a lot in this war of mine. Obviously, we got blood on the floor, right? Well, let's say when people come in here for some fittings, they might see that and freak out. We don't want that happening. We have to clean up, so let's grab a little friendly bucket over here and uh, get to cleaning. Luckily, it's very easy to get rid of blood, clean up a crime scene. So what we want to do here is grab this. Because again, it would be a waste. And we're not about waste here, you know? These are tough times that we live in. Even nowadays, here in the year 2022, it's a shame to be wasteful. Probably even worse back then. So that's good to go. We have made ourselves a fine suit or dress. I guess we'll find out once we put it on the mannequin what it is, exactly is. I think that randomly changes. Uh, right now, it's going to be a nice little dress. Perfect. Now we can welcome our customers. It's time to open up shop, huh? You're not wrong about that? Okay. We are open for business. So up top, as you can see in the upper left corner, we have one dress for sale. Down here in our grocery shop, we got ourselves three meat pies. Take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand. Otherwise, they'd have been waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it all away for free, after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. You never know if you work in style will be appreciated by people. Always keep in mind to do the best job you can. You don't want bad reviews getting out. Well, I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. I'll wait for the client to arrive. Yeah. Take the client's measurements. In the back room, my friend. So this is exactly why you want to have this unnecessarily clean, because when you have to do this, and they walk in for some measurements, they'll see blood, they'll run out, and, you know, they might get the cops involved. And you don't want that happening, you know what I'm saying? Cops, they're usually very picky about murder. So now that we are alone, um, well, let's just go ahead and stab him in the neck. And one more in the gut just for, you know, sanctity's sake here. Grab this body, but first, remove that clothing. Make it easier for Hildred to, you know, get that down there minced up. Toss this down there. So now they're giving us a tutorial, obviously. We'll soon be jumping into, like, you know, free... Free form game. Deal with all the upgrades and everything we'll be dealing with here. But right now, you know, let's do it its thing. More clients are coming. We must be ready. Starting over is never easy. There's lots of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way, we will serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. So let's check out our upgrades over here. This is going to be like the really big, um, you know, fun part over it over time. As we make more money, we actually get four of these upgrades here. But ingredients, we got minced meat, obviously. We can open up the recipe for steaks. And sausages as well. We got some tomatoes as well. And we these will be unlocked. We have to apparently. You need to unlock something else first. So more than likely, once we unlock tomatoes or steaks or something, that'll open up over time. In the kitchen, we got the workbench, obviously. We have us two workbenches to deal with. This will be for this. Ooh, the oven speed would be pretty ideal. We got 38 right now. I think let's definitely get the, uh, the oven speed. And then we'll probably also even get the sewing machine speed upgrade afterwards. Okay, so with our tutorial now officially over, it's time for us to start. Now we have some food set up already, and we have some backup right here. 
And upstairs, as you can see, we got already one clothing of display and one as a backup as well, so we should be good for a while. As a matter of fact, we might as well start heading back down right now, because one more pie, we'll have to fill it up again. I, I, I kind of want to make the other pie, the other, the regular meat patty. The only problem is that it does cost less, so we were making less out of it. And flour is unlimited, so it seems kind of like, you know, I don't see why you would make the meat patty. Unless maybe that's like an event that happens later where those prices apparently go up or something, who knows. You, my friend, must uh, perish meanwhile. And as soon as that lady picks that up, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and toss this body down here if we can. Perfect, there it is. Thank you, man. Appreciate your business. Let me go ahead and uh, fill this back up. You, my hefty friend, down below you shall be going. Send that ass down there. All right. Oh, look at this. Another body to have to deal with. What a shame. Never stops, does it? I really got to get comfortable with the idea of, you know, getting cooking first before grinding. It's always a big thing of mine. Let's also clean up, just so that nobody suspects that murder has taken place in the back room here. And we'll get another one of these back up and running. And our day ends over here. So yeah, this is where I've mentioned where, you know, whenever there's like downtime, a speed up function would be nice. But there is none. Unless maybe it's an upgrade that you unlock. Some games tend to do that on occasion too. It's kind of weird. But some do. So I wonder if like maybe there's an upgrade eventually you unlock for speed up time. That's fine. Oh, how you doing there, ma'am? Measurements? Of course. Go ahead and uh, stab you in the neck before we do that, though. How are we doing over here? Perfect. You sold out already? Ooh, man, you guys are hungry today. You guys are loving these meat pies, aren't you? And you're loving that clothes that you use bottom now. Perfect. You never ask where I got the materials from. I wouldn't want to perjure myself. Okay, we're good to go. Sir, I am uh, coming right up right now with your meal. Don't worry. You're not going to be waiting too long. I'm trying to keep on top of things here today. And before we go put that up, let's go in and make sure that we clean up the blood there. Perfect. Sir, um, the food is uh, ready to go in case you want to pick it up. Mmm, you know what it might be? He might be looking for the meat patties. No, 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 Falcon. We've talked about this. Get, get the cooking done first. Did he finally give in? Yeah, he finally gave in. He was like, well, I guess we're not going to get these uh, meat patties, so I guess meat pie it's going to have to be. Don't worry, dude. The flour is baked really well. You'll enjoy that one a bit more, I think. Okay. Now, today went perfect, as you can see. Reputation, 15 good orders, and only one mixed one, which was the guy who was, like, you know, over there like, I really want a meat patty, but they only got meat pies. Fine, I guess I'll take it. A letter just arrived. We moved here not long ago. No one should know us. Who may have sent this? Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Let me read. God. Someone knows our secret. Well, what does it say? Nothing good. Just threats. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Um, we have an admirer. We can't leave again. We spent everything we had on this building. I don't like the situation either, but I don't think he means trouble. Rather, it would be a rich client. He talks about a reward. Oh, I wouldn't trust that. We haven't much of choice. So, what do we do? Now, nothing. We just play his game. He'll get back to us. And that's if what's written in this letter is true. We would risk our lives by... He seems to be a powerful man in the city. Well then, let's hope you'll get some money out of this. Well, you know what I think we should do? Let's actually get two displays for the pubs. Yeah, that way we could actually put meat patties and pies. And that's the one that's kind of selling the most, I would say, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, unlock this. My esteemed Rhodes, I must admit that your arrival in this city has got me pretty excited. And please, I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat. But merely as a great opportunity. I know what is going on at your shop. I do often wonder, how do you manage all of those corpses? In any case, I decide to contact you to ask for a favor. But before I do that, I would like to assure you, your secret is safe with me. If you do, what I'm about to request. I have been eating human flesh for a long time. I'm sure you would not find what I say as shocking or as others might, though. You cannot even manage how difficult it has been for me to get my fill. From now on, however... With you around, I trust things will be far easier for me. 
I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to save. After all, I would not just settle for average Londoners. Once the target has been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. It'll be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move and will know where you are at all times. Moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you details on the first target soon. Kind regards. Your new friend, Jay. It's, uh, it's Johnny Depp, obviously. <laughs> that's, that's who it is. Okay, so... That we got to go. Luckily for us, as you can see here, I got... I'm gonna make some meat patties today. But as you can see, we got, um, six plates. So, more food now for sale. And we have one already on display here when it comes to our clothes. And one as a backup. Open up shop. Let's come back here and get ready for a little bit of, um, possibility of murder, obviously. Ma'am, are you here to buy or here for measurements? She is probably here to buy, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She loved that. All right. Make sure we replace that. This is almost done. Come up there and do a little bit of restocking, and then we'll deal with grinding up that body. So I did find out... How are you doing, sir? I did find out that um, grinding a body gives you two units of meat. And I think there's an upgrade to increase, like, the more... um. Essentially more units of meat per kill or grind, I suppose. Which does seem very low when you think about it, right? Just like, you know, two units of meat for an entire human corpse. But hey. I can't necessarily can there know otherwise, because if I did, then well, you know, I'd probably be in jail. <laughs> There'd be a lot of people reporting me like Falcon's saying some really weird things over there talking about how it's very inappropriate amount of meat that he's receiving from, you know, getting rid of a corpse. Officer, you might want to look into him. Don't you dare. Okay. So we got ourselves the mail. Could be, again, from our admirer. For now, we're at 40 at the moment, so let's see. We got flour, we got mince meat. I guess we could finally open up steaks, although... You know what? No, no, no. I want to get the extra mannequin. Yes. So I'm always waiting around when I could be filing a lot. So we have, like, you know, three displays now, so we have up to nine food. Let me get the mannequin instead. Perfect. And let's see what we got here. Dear Rhodes, Elliot Carson is your first target. He's a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible not to be thrilled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time, talking to everyone, even those filled, covered, country louts. He has no objection in frequenting even the most infamous establishments, as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway... All of this will work to our advantage, and in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovel. Sorry, no offense. I am sure you will have plenty of time to spruce up the place. Mr. Castonis is a very charismatic person and an eloquent speaker. I have had the pleasure of having him as my guest at some of my most famous parties. He is a good-looking man. You will recognize him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnetic spears that simply drive me crazy. And just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him. And preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. Kill him and preserve the body. Alright. So I imagine this is going to be showing up here, right? We'll keep our eyes open. Or the blue-eyed fella. So I got the table upgrade. I was curious about what it was. I imagine it probably has to do with, um, you know, making people, like, less impatient. So let's see here. It also comes with an event. Finally, we've managed to fix the table. Now it's ready for our clients to use. I will write down their orders and sell them freshly baked food. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I guess we need an example of it, huh? First, I'll take the client's orders. Then I'll cook what they desire. Let's find out what they want to eat. Oh. Huh? Oh, so this is how you fine tune, and then we can start making the recipes and like you know charging money for certain things. Interesting. Okay. Okay, it's coming right up. They want a hamburger. I have minced meat ready in the kitchen. They'll love it. Let's get cooking. I just need some minced meat. Ah. Huh. Okay. So that definitely makes it a bit more interesting then, because essentially we got this right. That's gonna be always there, ready to go for anybody to come in and just pick up and buy and leave. And then we're going to have tables that we can actually weigh on for specific orders themselves. 
I see. I like it. All right, ladies, we got two, um, or maybe one. Are you guys sharing a juicy hamburger? I'm not sure. But here it is either way. Enjoy your meal, dears. Perfect. From now on, I should prioritize the clients at the table. Maybe keeping some meals ready on the workbench will help me. There's work to do. Welfare clients mean more meat in the future. Oh. Oh, it was going to happen through an event. Okay. How's this going to work? Sure, my friend. Come on back. We will get your measurements just now. No, no, he could stay. No, sir. Oh. Well, only one person at a time is all I can take back here. Two is just too much. Good day, Mr. Percival. I am Elliot Carson. Your shop is making the news in this city. People say that it's impossible to find such high-quality clothes elsewhere. Some acquaintances of mine came by recently to tell me that I should pay you a visit. I don't. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes on display look exquisite, but I suggest you clean this place a little. By the way, I'm going to commission a suit before I depart from the next trip. Nice to meet you. That's us. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. It would be my pleasure to tailor something for you. What kind of suit are you after? Is it for you or the boy? I would need to take measurements first. For me, of course. I need a very durable suit for hunting. He's just my assistant. You may pretend as if he is not here. And if he bothers you, I can kick, kick him out. Am I right, boy? I'm a brick wall, mister. Oh, just the way I like it. Anyway, I'm just passing through to take a look at your humble shop. I'm leaving now, as I have plans for today, Mr. Percival. But I will return again in the near future, if you don't mind. Of course not. Feel free to come back whenever you like. Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. Much oblige. See you soon. Come on, you loafer. We are leaving. Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. Uh, goodbye. Well, at least they painted him as a uh, kind of a dick, right? Of course, we have probably been killing some really good people along the way, so we're not really necessarily anti-hero suddenly. But at least this guy, you kind of going like, "Hey, he probably deserves it." He must be our target. The sender of those letters isn't joking. Next time, I will have some work to do. So at least now he's in our bullseye. You know, he's in our eyesight. We'll keep notice. See if we take him out next time around. Hopefully he doesn't come with the boy as well, because then we'd have to deal with him as well. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we're at the time, so I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. As I've mentioned, if you'd like to see more, you know what to do. Otherwise, all the information for this will be down below. I'll catch you next time.